what is your pool? More? More? All right. Well, thank you everyone for coming. I'm Sarah Martin. And, and here's Ted Steinbach, and we welcome you all to our home, and so glad everybody is here and support Doctors and Lawyers for Kids. And um, I have the, the great honor of introducing my dear friend, Martha Hasselbacher, who's done everything from prepare me for job interviews to help me pick out a wedding dress. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's a real treat that she's not only brought this legal medical partnership to Louisville, but um, that she's going to tell you all about. So let me introduce to you Martha Hasselbacher. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Yay. And I, I'm using notes because I don't want to miss anything and I also don't want to go longer than three minutes because I can't have a glass of wine until I finish. <laughs> <laughs> Do this. Yeah. If you're poor and you have no resources, you're unlikely to have a lawyer or a banker or an accountant. But there's one professional that you do have and you do trust, and that's your doctor. Doctors can treat and cure almost everything, but there are some things they can't fix. They call them the social determinants of health, and these are effective, affect health, but are not treated with prescription. Poverty, bad housing, hunger, homelessness, and domestic violence. What if the doctor were trained to recognize legal issues that could be fixed? What if there were free legal services right in the clinic where you come to get well child checkups, vaccinations, treatment for a sore throat? What if someone asked if there are problems with housing before kids with asthma were living in a car? Or a toddler burned his hands on a stove because there was no heat in the apartment? What if grandparents who were raising kids had legal custody? What if someone recognized that the school was not doing what was legally required to do before a child gave up and dropped out? What if someone knew that they could appeal a denial of benefits and a child could get the medical treatment he needed? We started this medical legal partnership five years ago, Legal Aid, the Louisville Bar Association, and the U L Department of Pediatrics. It took us a while to get started. We had to find space, computers, a medical director, figure out the overlap between attorney-client privilege and HIPAA, but we've been seeing patients and clients now for about three years. And I'm happy to report that the system is doing just what we had hoped it would. The doctors we train are identifying legal problems early, before the family is in crisis, and when the problems are easier to fix. We have a full-time attorney on staff, Andrea, she's somewhere here. Here. <laughs> and her work is supplemented by volunteers from the local bar who provide their services free of charge. Uh, some are here tonight. I saw Jonathan Rickens. If I, if I start naming names, though, I'm going to leave people out. And we thank them for the pro bono service. We also have law students working with us and proud that they are starting their careers committed to community service. We're now at a crossroads. We're staffing all the clinics of the U of L Department of Pediatrics, but we're ready to expand. We're talking to other agencies in Louisville, Home of the Innocents, the Family Health Clinics, the Kids Center. All would be great partners and allow us to bring these services to more kids in our community, but we need more staff to reach these other agencies. So, I'm asking you for money. <laughs> I used to be embarrassed to do this, but I'm getting over it. <laughs> the Bart Foundation, the Children's Hospital Foundation, got us started, but now we need your support. I want to thank all of you who have made donations and all of you who are about to write checks, <laughs> second checks, larger checks. A special thanks to Sarah and Ted, a doctor and a lawyer, for hosting this event and to our friends at Norton Healthcare. Lenny Myers and Robert Azar for their generosity and all their efforts on our behalf. So please now raise a gl glass and join me in toasting our first five years and with your help, our continued success. Woohoo! Woo and there's lots of food, so please yeah. go eat. <laughs> 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 